Okay, so initial talks about the next steps for North Security started almost two years ago. Uh, but the process that was well celebrated this uh, spring started in May 2021. Um, as all big projects have secret names, uh, so did our. Uh, we called it Project Box. So first we had quite a few brainstorm sessions about what's the aim of this process. And we came out with a few very simple outcomes. So first we were looking for the know-how that our organization did not have yet. Then we were looking to validate the business and to show the world what we have created here in Lithuania and um, to finally mark this country as a land of two unicorns. And finally, we were looking for um, well-minded business partners that would uh, fit us culturally um, and help us to achieve the goals. Uh, then we hired the top legal firms in UK and Lithuania and we did our homework to make this bootstrapped organization to do its first uh, fundraise. Uh, we also had an investment bank that, that uh, walked us through this process. Uh, we did a very detailed financial model, uh, management presentation, and filled in the virtual data room full of documents. Um, then we approached uh, nearly 80 parties as targeted investors, and the roadshow started. So we had hundreds of calls, meetings, and emails. It took us seven months to choose the three best parties, the best matches for our organization that signed uh, the document called Term Sheet. Um, and after this, it took us two months to successfully finish the due diligence processes of technical, legal, and uh, financial checks. Um, we concluded the 600 page documentation and finally closed the round. First, we have uh, Tire One top leading uh, funds from um, UK, Novator, uh, Germany, Burda, and um, US, General Catalyst. Uh, we, we chose them as the best match to achieve our, our goals. Uh, they are very well experienced and they have um, helped lots of companies worldwide to just achieve astonishing goals. And then we invited the so-called friends and family as angel investors. So we have uh, 15 individuals, founders basically of great companies such as Wall, Supercell, Netaporter, Checkout, and many others. Um, we are very proud that they actually believed in us and then now they just act as our ambassadors. So first of all, um, I think um, you need to put yourself in the shoes of the investor and think about what are the key selling points um, of your business. Um, so in our case, it was a technologically superior product, um, an innovative customer acquisition um, engine on the marketing front, uh, very attractive unit economics, particularly around growth, uh, customer retention, and the uh, path to profitability. And uh, think of a way how to best position your story to those investors so that they, they can believe in that story um, and, uh, and really buy into the, into the offering. Second of all, um, you really need to prepare um, a lot um, in advance. So in our case, we built um, a detailed financial model and investor presentation. We populated a comprehensive data room um, on the legal and uh, financial front. We anticipated a lot of the questions that potential investors may have and uh, prepared analysis to that extent in advance so that when investors started doing their diligence process, we had all the materials um, ready for them. Then uh, thirdly, uh, I think you need to have uh, a dedicated team effort um, for this particular process. So in our case, we had uh, people both at North Security and at Surfshark who were managing the project and who were allocating um, specific time in their agenda to prepare all the materials, do the analysis and uh, answer investor questions. And uh, as Agla said, we also hired um, some great uh, external financial and legal advisors. And finally, you need to see it, set clear goals up front uh, of what you want to achieve uh, in this fund, uh, fundraise process and what type of investor uh, you want to target. So in our case, um, we were uh, targeting investors that invest in slightly later stage companies uh, that are of uh, bigger size. Um, we target investors that understand consumer businesses and the cybersecurity uh, industry. 
and we wanted uh, investors from that are you know from different ge geographies, particularly um, Europe and the U.S. Um, and um, we also acted on that. Um, so, for example, in order to approach um, these investors across different geographies, we carved out time in our calendars to accommodate, let's say, the various time zone differences um, in order to achieve these goals. So, for example, if we spoke to uh, U.S. investors um, over Zoom, we normally had to do that you know, in late evening Lithuanian time to accommodate the 10-hour time difference between Silicon Valley um, and, uh, and Lithuanian time zones. So the selling points were, were both uh, inter uh, internal, um, specific to our business, and external, um, specific to, to uh, the whole industry uh, in general. So from an internal standpoint, um, we, we really um, stand out in terms of how technologically advanced um, our product is. Um, how diversified geographically uh, the business is, that the business has a diversified suite um, of products, and that its uh, unit economics are, are very attractive, particularly around growth, uh, customer retention, um, and potential profitability. And then finally, the fact that the business has managed to achieve uh, this scale uh, without attracting any external capital uh, beforehand just also means that uh, we're executing uh, very well on our strategy with our internal resources. And then finally, um, and I think most importantly, um, investors were really impressed by our team, that we have very um, hardworking uh, and talented individuals working hard and uh, hustling every day. And from an external standpoint, you know, the cybersecurity industry has very attractive fundamentals. And uh, both Nord and Surfshark um, are very well positioned to continue growing and gaining market share across both B2C and B2B verticals. For me, unicorn status is um, all about publicity. So now I think it's going to be even easier to hire talent all around the globe. Um, and you know, just to knock on the enterprise, any enterprise uh, door as, um, as a client. Um, so, you know, this is just another public achievement that we have and uh, it's just about time to use it. So I think we'll have further means now to continue growing the business both organically and potentially by acquiring uh, new companies. We also uh, found uh, during this process some great partners, you know, three fantastic uh, uh, investors and 15 um, business uh, operators and, uh, and company founders that we can use uh, to get advice and uh, to consult on various matters. Um, I think it will also help um, attract and retain talent particularly by uh, putting uh, a value to the stock options that, uh, that employees could get uh, potentially. And I think in general, this is uh, a fantastic uh, further step to the company's uh, great success that's already been achieved and I think the future is very bright. So stay tuned. <laughs>